All right, you know the drill. One week to lose my sanity. This week's mental stress test was this bullet jam that I found where you gotta make a game with a lot of bullets. If you want an example of a game with a lot of bullets, check out Enter the Gungeon. That's a good game. So I aim to make a game something like that. When I mean something like that, I mean almost a carbon copy. I took the bullet mechanic, I used it. I took the dash mechanic, I used that. So day one, I made a background and then post-processing effects because my brain thought Bloom looked good and then I made Bloom and then that was it. I didn't actually make any game. I made the background and then added Bloom and that was the entirety of day one. How am I this unproductive? Not only is that like practically all I did day one, but then I didn't touch it for the other two days because I had a lot of schoolwork. Quarter three was ending for school and I had a lot of tests and a lot of work. So, I didn't even get to touch the game for two days. So I apologize if you go play the game and it's garbage, because there is not much. I worked a little on it, day three, I think. I added a basic enemy. This enemy would be pretty much like the player, except an enemy. So it's just a square with a little gun that'll aim at the player and then fire a bullet. And then day two, I made two more enemies. I made a green guy that has four firing points that can fire in four directions, and then a yellow guy with eight of them. So I decided to be a little fancier this time. Instead of just having the enemies just kind of turn and move toward the player, I used A-Star, which is a pathfinding method that works really well. But there's like no point to pathfinding. I set it up and then I realized, wait, there's no point. There's no obstacles in this game. It's a flat plane. On the other hand, I wrote a really, really cool bullet script for my enemies. I made this script modular so that all the enemies could use this script and I wouldn't have to rewrite different scripts for different enemies. Of course if I wanted enemies with different specific abilities I'd have to write individual scripts for each but in this case this one script helped a lot because this script allows me to create multiple firing points for the enemy it allowed me to select whether I wanted him to even aim at the player or not so I am really proud of this script and it was probably like the high of this entire project. Anyway, on to day four, I worked on enemy spawning. Now, I got a lot of comments about the difficulty of this game. This game was so difficult, even with the infinite dashes. Originally, when I made the dash mechanic, I eventually nerfed it because there was no reload time and you can just spam it and get, just get out of anywhere. But even then it was still too hard because what happened was the enemies spawned on top of the player, which means they would spawn and just immediately fire bullets, which is not the best when four eight firing point enemies spawn on top of you. There's no getting out of that. Unfortunately, I didn't even fix this for the end of the jam. I submitted it as is, which was not smart because I got a lot of people saying spawning's an issue. I did end up tweaking that after the jam and I did upload a tweaked version. So if you go play it now, it should be totally fine and at least a little more balanced. Next up, I added a score system because as of right now, there's no objective to the game. So I just added a score system so the player can keep track of their score and that would basically be the objective, just get a higher score. I also added a title screen that day, which would keep track of your score and would just look kind of nice, you know, you don't want to pop right into the game after opening the project. And then I made a how to play screen to show the player what the controls were. So after making a transition for the scenes and picking a bunch of sound effects and some really nice music, I built the project. So I built it as an EXE because when you build it as an EXE, it's a solid project and it feels more polished than a HTML. I had to upload as an HTML as well just because I noticed in my previous jams if you upload an EXE people tend to not play your game. This is because people don't like downloads so I decided to build it as an HTML as well just so that more people have an opportunity to play it. I definitely have to learn a bit more on how HTML to work because I had a bunch of issues when trying to build the project as HTML because it like sometimes wouldn't even run and when it was on itch it was so laggy when sometimes when you upload a HTML and you play it, it's very laggy. It runs at a low frame rate and you have to like minimize the window as much as possible to get at the highest frame rate. My guess is the post processing effects weren't the best choice. If I'm building as an HTML, maybe next time I'll disable those before exporting as HTML. Anyway, this is just a short devlog on the past week of the game jam. I have another jam coming up very soon, so I'll be doing that. If you want to check out the jam and my game, 
Links are in the description. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe as that is always appreciated. Thanks for watching and I will see you later. Thank you.